is get selected item from text scroll list. So what this command does is it um, it just checks which item is selected. So if I were to select this item here uh, and then I execute this this line, it's going to tell me point light shape one. Okay, so that is the one that is selected. If I select all three of them and I execute this, then you will see that all these three elements get uh, you know the script editor spits out those lines. So what it, what this is doing obviously it is again creating a string array it is checking and this time you will see that the text scroll list command is set in queue or query mode so we're not creating we are not editing but we are querying si is selected item i used the short name here because if i go to the text scroll list command and i go here selected item so that again gives me the selected item. You can see here that it uh, has a query flag, so you can query the selected item. So it's pretty you know, obvious what that does. It just tells you what the selected item is. And then again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through that array, and of all the selected items, we are gonna turn off the specular command, the specular uh, attribute. Mm, the easy way to, to see that, how that works, is to actually do it. Uh, and then look in, inside the script editor. So if you would use the script editor here, because that's probably the one that you are looking at right now, uh, is it will tell you, sorry for the low resolution, it will tell you, so it will say set adder, which is a command, set attribute, then it, the light in this case, but set adder works on all nodes in Maya, but in this case, we're talking about the lights. So you got your light, in this case, this is the one that you have selected. And the command that we need, uh, the command that we need, oh, I'm saying command again, I mean the attribute that we need is called emit specular. Okay. Uh, and then we set it to, uh, we want to turn it off, so we have to set it to zero, obviously. But because we are working with selected items in a text scroll list, which are changing, we have to store it in a variable. Um, that is something that we have already done we have stored it into this string array so what we have to do then is we have to loop through that string array and each element we have to concatenate that concatenate means uh, adding or uh, pasting uh, two strings together we have to concatenate that with the actual attribute so we have a dynamic uh, variable here which stores uh, the selected item in, uh, which is selected in the text scroll list and then we can catenate that with the attribute which in this case is emit specular and then uh, what we learn from looking in the script editor when we actually do this through the UI is we have to use the set adder command or the set uh, attribute command uh, the set attribute command as you might note takes a node so in this case which is stored in a variable which uh, then it takes the node dots the attribute and then as argument you give it in this case a zero uh, which is a boolean to turn off the emit specular attribute right and then the final thing that you would that you do is obviously although this works so if we execute that one let's turn it on again on that point light let's say that we take that point light Top always let's leave that point light and then we execute this command this procedure you will see that the image specular gets turned off so obviously we do not want to go we we know now that it works but what we have to do next is we have to attach this procedure this one that turns off the specular we have to attach that to this button how do you do that well you simply use the command flag and you specify what needs to happen when the user hits that button here. What needs to happen? Well, the turning off of the specular needs to happen, which is something that we uh, de described or what we took care of in the turn off specular procedure. So the final thing that you would do when you write the script is you attach the procedure that does the main action um, to the, the command flag of the button. So that's basically it. I mean, it's, it's very easy to set something like this up and it could save you a lot of time. Uh, it is, speaks for itself that this works 
um, with a little bit of change on any attributes or any kind of nodes. If you do a lot of shader work or you do a lot of particles and you want to centralize certain uh, common use actions, you can use a simple texture list and you know a couple of buttons, very easy to set up. And if you do a repetitive tasks, which happens a lot in production, it could save you hundreds of clicks a day, which is a lot of time, obviously. So again, very shortly, uh, let's go over this again. We got three procedures. We got one that creates the UI. We got one that puts the lights inside the text scroll list, which we call right before we create the UI. So uh, the text scroll list is populated with the selected lights. And then we have the procedure that actually turns off the specular, which is the action that we want, in this case, based on the selected items, because we query the selected items of the text scroll list, the light text scroll list. Um, and then we attach that procedure to, uh, sorry, to the command flag right here of the button. So this is uh, a very brief uh, example, and I know it went a little bit fast if you don't, if you do not have any Mel experience. But this is just to give you a feeler, to give you a taste of um, the, what we are covering in the Mel course. This is something that you will be able to do after the first ten minutes of the Mel course. Because the Mel course, uh, the full Mel course, is a, uh, uh, a Mel course that is very, uh, very deep and uh, will give you real um, uh, examples of, of scripts that I uh, have written in production, amongst others, on, on the Chronicles of Narnia and 10,000 BC. So I hope you enjoyed this little tech bite for TD College, and I hope to see you soon uh, on one of our courses.